Good evening. Welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I do not have the copyright to the music you just heard. I just want to say Happy New Year. I just finished reading this book. This is my second book by this author, and I just want to say I am fastly falling in love with his work, becoming one of his biggest fans for as a reader. And I'm just going to say that first novel, I was like, wow. But this one, if I really had to pick and choose between the two, I, I just can't because totally two different stories, but the flow, you got that flow for real. And I'm talking about no other than Mr. Marlon Mikowski. In my current situation, I love this cover. Love this cover. As you know, if you follow me on my YouTube channel, I do not do the spoiler thing. I will talk about the book, but I am not going to give away anything big in this book because I feel like that you should support and get my Current Situation by Molly Mikowski. I do want to first start off by saying this has pretty few characters, but you won't get lost. Like some of the books I read, to me, it's too many characters to keep up. But Molly, you delivered on this one with the flow and everything. And I didn't get confused with what was going on and everything. And it deals with the main characters, which all of them to me is the main character because they was all the way through the book. But you have Danielle, who is about to marry her high school sweetheart, um, Ricky. And then you have Ricky's best friend, Jason, who is, I just want to say, is a, a dog. Put it point blank. Um, I didn't care for Jason in the beginning. I really didn't. Because I feel like he did play a part in what happened between Danielle and Ricky. Along with her. Because she... Mm, she's controlling, I'll say that. I love how you brought... Her and her sister, Deja, how that played out and how it ended up. Because, you know, for a minute, I didn't see it going anywhere. But you brought it to head, and I'm glad you did that. Um, my favorite character in this book, I would have to say Kimber. Kim, I think that's, I'm just going to say Kimber. Um, Kimber. Um, she was just, to me, the peacemaker throughout the whole book. I noticed that everyone came to her for advice. Jason and her husband, Mike. For a minute, I was like, they should be best friends because just the way they acted. The Mike situation, I understand how it is when you have a sister you want the best for her because I do have sisters and I'm I'm protected too but to me he was a little bit overprotected and it backfired I'll say that um Selena hmm. the way that unfolded toward the end I love the ending because Really, when you read this book, it is so close to the title, My Current Situation, especially the end of Marlon, when you did what you did in the end, I was like, I had to do this. I'm telling you people, this book is so good. Um, I actually had to go to work the next morning, the other night, and... I try to get in bed around 9, 9.30 and, you know, and get my rest because I have to get up at like around 4, 4.15. And I was so into this book. I looked up and it was almost like, I want to say 11 or something. Uh, yeah, I lost some sleep 
off of this one, Molly. I really did. I love how you brought Rashida Diddler's cameo in the book, and I'm glad that she's still happy in her relationship. I will say that. My heart went out to Mike's, not Mike, um, Rick. Mother, I love her. And what she went through and everything, I was like, mm. It plays so close to some of the things going on within my life. I will say that. Star and Donnell. I liked them as a couple. I really did. Um, the way they met and the way things happened, I love that part. My favorite part is in the book is when Ashley and Deja and Kim was talking at the house and oh my, it got explicit. That conversation, I was like, wow. Um, the love scenes in this book. I was like, whoa, you bringing us erotica in this novel, Marlon. But I loved it. I really did. I look forward to reading more of your work. I mean, I guess I was asleep on you. I mean, so a friend of mine told me about you before I actually saw you in the book of it in 2018. It was in October. And when I met you, I want to say I got all of your books that you had. And I was on Amazon just looking, and I was looking at some of the reviews. And I must say, I got to read Real Love next. And I did get that for you because one of the reviewers reviews stood out when they said they wasn't even a reader. And you have made them into a reader with that book. So I look forward to reading Real Love. I really do. I want to thank you for the book, and thank you for the autograph. And I just want to say I look forward to seeing you around here in Atlanta and purchasing more books from you. And I give this book a five stars. I need to go do my book review when I finish taping this. I am. I want to thank those who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm on Instagram, Robert's Reading Room. My Facebook group page is Robert's Reading Room and Reviews also, too. Thanks for all the support and continue to follow me. I got some things coming up. And please purchase this book by Marlon Bukowski. My current situation is so close to the truth. The title is. Until next time, happy readings and good night.